Good afternoon, folks. This is one of the many books I showed you July 16th, one of about a hundred reasons I believe the planets, moon, and sun can sometimes affect earthquakes. A month without conjunctions or oppositions ended yesterday with the new moon, as Mars and Uranus geocentrically opposed one another. We haven't had any big quakes, thankfully, but if you caught the morning show, you know Kuril Islands were rocking. Just after the upload, we had two six-pointers, but then quiet. Alaska caught a five-pointer a few hours later, along with one south of Japan. We had a couple of tremors on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge as well, a moderate quake in Australia. I always forget to mention volcanoes are part of this watch as well. In one week, they had ten times the average yearly quake allotment. Let's hope for quiet continuing as the moon joins Kronos and the Cosmic Warrior on July 24th and 25th. Mercury we will conjoin the sun a few days later and then it really gets fun. You remember a few days ago we were surprised that an eruption just behind the limb registered an M7 flare at Earth. The energy surge charged particles toward us causing a radiation storm that persists still. You may remember we poked a little fun at the experts models which showed the blast completely missing Earth, the little yellow dot, completely to one side, when their own satellites show ejecta fired at trajectories that look like they should be Earth directed. In the early show I mentioned that solar wind density was rising and now I can say pretty confidently we got hit with that eruption. Not majorly as it was just a glancing blow, but it's clear to see both in speed and density no matter where you're looking at the solar wind data. A quick look ahead on the sun. This is Stereo B showing a view of what is turning towards Earth. The biggest thing to notice is our giant corona hole is on her way back again. You might remember last time, though, the bright active regions behind her were the scary part. As we look now, you can see that dark area turning over. The active regions are coming as well. Solar watch is low for now, but the quake watch continues. That's the news, folks. Be safe.